good? I'm Kasim. It's just sneakers. Back with another review. And today we got the Bodega Clark Wallabies in the Heritage Patchwork. Now, Clarks have been a staple throughout many different eras, countries, and cultures, with their most popular model being the Wallaby, I say. Bodega is a sneaker boutique based out of Boston. They're known for their collabs. They've been in the game for a minute. Previously in 2019, they released two patchwork pairs of Wallabies, a black and brown pair and a navy denim kind of pair with different hues of blue. These released exclusively on Bodega at the end of October. Um, they hit my radar, I would say, that week. And as soon as I saw them, I was like, yeah, this is something I cop. And I went ahead and did that. As far as my personal history with Clarks and Wallabies in general, um, you know, they've been around, you know, ever since I can remember. And I do rock with them. I personally haven't had a pair since like middle school. I had a number of pairs of Wallabies. Like I had Clarks Wallabies, I had low tops, high tops. Like they were really dope at a time. And there was a time when I was like actively copping them. But like I said, I was really young at that time. And I was like in middle school. So I wore a whole different size. So it was kind of tricky, you know, as an adult copping them and like figuring out my size, but we'll get into that later. Let's start the review off with the box that it comes in. As you see, it's a very, very plain box. Um, it looks like they tried to save money here and just give us a regular cardboard box. Um, I'm not mad at that though, because I really don't put too much stock into boxes anyway. So. If you could do something that's better for the environment, I'm all with it. I don't really need a fancy box with a bunch of plastics and whatnot. So it is what it is. It's just a box. Now we can start with a full look at the shoe. As you see, you can check out all the patchwork patterns. We got suede, corduroy, tweed, leather, and oh, a uh, blue wool type of fabric. Now let's get into further details. We can start at the toe. And as you see, that's split between this brown leather and this tweed design. And of course you get some of the sole and the upper. Now we can move towards the toe box and that's split between brown suede and this darker brown corduroy pattern. You know, pretty much half and half. Now we can move up towards the tongue. We have a look at more patterns here. We have this tweed pattern and this blue wool type pattern. And for the shoelace, they come with brown rope laces. Shoelace also comes with the Clark's tag and the Bodega tag. Bodega tag is in this brown leather. Clark's tag is in this brown suede. Now to the side view of the shoe. Here you get a good look at everything going on. I would say the tweed pattern has the most real estate from the side view. Then we have the darker brown corduroy, the brown suede, the lighter brown suede, and this blue wool pattern pops out nice. We also have a brown leather bodega tag right at the top. And of course you get a few of them tags hanging. To move towards the back, we have uh, three of the patterns here. We have the brown suede, the tweed, and two parts of that brown corduroy. Move towards the inside of the shoe. And what's taking up most of the real estate here is this brown leather. They let the brown leather shine on the inside of the shoe. I think they should have gave it a spot on the outside or something. Um, I'm not too mad with the most of the shoe looking like it's suede and whatnot and you know just the leather hit in the inside but I think the leather could have been showcased a bit more. We also have the tweed pattern corduroy and the suede. Now we can get a look at the midsole and the sole in general. It's a crepe sole as you know if you don't know for the most part wallabies all wallabies have a crepe sole. Some of them have maybe a solid sole if it's like a different color but for the most part they're known for having a crepe sole. They might have even invented the crepe sole, if I'm not mistaken, but you know, don't quote me on that. And the outsole, of course, is just the whole crepe sole. So yeah, there you have it. That's pretty much the whole review. You can get a look at both of them together. 
Yeah. You know, he's go hard. There you have it. Now, as far as sizing goes, I'm going to have to suggest you go a whole size down on these. To give you a point of reference, in Nike shoes, Jordan 1s, Air Max, Air Maxes, um, I'm a size 9 for the most part. In Nike's New Balances, most sneakers, I'm a 9. I have size down in sneakers like Air Force 1s and some boots. With these, I was kind of lost with the sizing because, like I said, I haven't had a pair of these since middle school. And in middle school, I was, you know, a completely different size. So as an adult, I haven't had a pair. And these here dropped online and they sold out pretty quick. So, you know, of course I could have went to like a local store and tried on a pair. That's what I suggest anybody to do. Like, you know, they sell Clarks everywhere. You can go to the store and just try them on. So I didn't really have the time to do any of that. So I just went with my instinct and I went with an eight and a half. But I must say that these are a little more roomier than I'd like. I think, if I would have went a size eight, I would have been good. So, like I said, I suggest to go a whole size down. Now, as far as comfort goes, yeah, these are comfortable, man. There's no other way to put it. You can wear these all day. You can wear them every day. Very comfortable shoe. I recommend, um, if you're not doing nothing like athletic and you know, you're just doing casual things and you need a, a sneaker or a shoe that you can rock all day, the Wallaby is a good choice in general. So yeah, these are good on the comfort. As far as resale goes, um, I really can't call it. You know, these sold out, but I think everyone who bought a pair was specifically looking to buy a pair. I did check on the resale market and it looked like it was going for about the retail price. So I think if you are looking for a pair, I think you can get a pair for what they retail for, you know. If, if you do your due diligence. Now for my thoughts on these, you know, of course I'm rocking with them. Wallabies in general, you know, I've always liked Wallabies. Like I said, they've popped, they're popular. They've been around way before me. And ever since I was a kid, I've been aware of them. Like I said, they're staples in many different, you know, cultures and whatnot. Just growing up like a, a fan of Wu-Tang or something, you, you would just, if you was a fan of Wu-Tang or, you know, Ghost or Ray, you familiar with wallabies, you know, um, if you're Jamaican or from the Caribbean or something, you familiar with wallabies or you from Flatbush or Uptown, you familiar with Clarks. Or they say Clarks, they don't really call them wallabies, they call them Clarks. And back in the day, my favorite pair of wallabies were all the split and the two-tone ones. You know, there's people who like customize wallabies like Sycamore style. He's been out since the 90s customizing all type of joints. So. You know, all the split ones were my favorites anyway. So it's kind of right up my alley. You know, this particular pair is patchwork. Me personally, I'm really into patchwork. When I seen this, I kind of knew it was a no brainer, but I want to know what y'all think. What's y'all take on these? Do you have Clarks, Wallabies? Um, is the Wallabies even your, your favorite pair of Clarks? You know, are you more of a desert boot or a weaver type of person or this is just something you've always seen and have been interested in. You know, this video was gonna help you make a decision to move into this sort of thing. You know, either way, leave it below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's just sneakers. Peace.